I'm going to plant this uh, red horse chestnut tree here. And why I'm choosing this location that there is a red eastern, uh, eastern red bird tree there and one there. So they, they want to spread nearly 20 feet. So I don't want to plant too close to these two, but here it is a sunny location and uh, in front of that uh, iris uh, triangle garden so that I will not disturb here that is the um, uh, yellow magnolia I have already planted which in future can reach to 40 feet so I have to leave enough space for that uh, and they spread also 40 feet 35 40 feet so that's what the tag says so I need to leave enough space um, around that tree so thinking that I have uh, chosen this location that is the red um, European beach the weeping one so that's why I think um, and it is going to be pink uh, pink yellow mix kind of bloom they have two three colors when they bloom so I think this is perfect for now I'm excited to plant this red horse chestnut so see the hole big enough right Here it is, I planted the red horse chestnut tree. Brio TI red horse chestnut and it is going to be 30 to 40 feet height, 30 to 40 feet width. Let's see how lucky I am. Um, the important part is I have to water it uh, during summer. It is far away this spot is far away from my house so but I have to make sure that in summer when there is no rain generally in June hardly it rains so in the month of June I have to come here and water that is the difficult part for the first year I have to make sure and I hope I'll be lucky I'm just <laughs> referring the eastern redwood tree there and the other one there I already watered This is a white kusa dogwood. The tag I already took home <laughs> to search a little more. So here it is written Cornus kusa white dogwood. So it is white kusa dogwood. I already have one with cream color white, but I think it is a little different. And even if it is not a different, uh, I'm happy because my previous uh, white dogwood the spot is very high and the blooms uh, is not very visible to our height um, so though it blooms and looks very pretty but we can't enjoy that much the way it is supposed to so 
see the height i think it is nearly three and a half feet nice branches that is the yellow magnolia so that is the red horse chestnut near the triangle iris garden so this will be enough uh, distance i think that's how i chose i don't have any other options otherwise and there it is that um, weeping european beach so that is also going to go a very big tree one two that is the eastern redwood uh, horse chestnut three second eastern redwood four yellow magnolia five kusada good six so in future these six are going to be more than 25 feet nearly 30 or 40 feet that's what they say so i was telling my son if you live somewhere nearby and you come with your children then you can see these trees <laughs> in their full matured height i'm very happy to plant these trees I had um, thought I will not plant in this area still I changed my mind and I planted trees <laughs> so particularly this area is mostly sunny so in future it don't be sunny all day right now uh, if they grow which I am expecting at least after five years uh, they will grow at least to a height where they will keep some shade so yes I just thought of sharing with you the day I planted the tree so that you can relate in future how it is growing. So today is 9th May 2022. Thanks for watching.